guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my February favourites. I'm a bit later than I wanted to be for this video, but um, I'm here with a February favourites and that's all that matters. I have a few products this month that I wanted to share with you guys. I haven't done a favourites video in a really long time, so I just wanted to come on and kind of film one. Even though I don't have a lot of things to show you guys, but I do have a few favourites, which is kind of like accumulative favourites over the last few months of not doing a favourites video and also not being on YouTube. Slap on my wrist! So the first product this month that I really liked was the Hourglass Palette by Ambient. The Ambient Palette by Hourglass. Look at this, just reflect the haters. Referencing, alright hey. I feel like it was too expensive for essentially what it is but I have to say I like it because if I don't, um, it means that I've wasted my money and I don't want to think that way. Um, it's just a really nice palette if you like a nice natural highlight, you don't want anything too intense. Um, and the packaging is also very nice. So I had to put it in here because it was too expensive not to. So the next two products are lip products. The first one, I'll just say what I'm wearing on my lips right now, is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Chocolate Crepe. I really, really like these a lot. I purchased them in a trio. There's another one, I think it's called Trey Leches. Trey Leches? Trez Leches. It's a really nice kind of lighter brown as well. And then there's another color that I'm not too much a fan of, which is more of like a corally sort of color. But these are really, really nice. I don't find that they last a super long time. Like the shine on this is just because I've literally just done it. But I don't really feel like they last a super, super long time. But um, I really like the color of them. Like the actual shine doesn't last and the glossiness doesn't last a super long time. But the color fades and it kind of stains a little bit after a while. But I really like them. I think they're really, really good quality for the money. And it's a really, really nice color. Like Kylie Jenner Lip Kit Who. The next product that I really liked this month was the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick. I've been wanting one of these for a while and I recently purchased it in Melted Sugar. Literally, I'm so glad that I did. This is a really, really nice product and I actually want to get more of the browner ones, like the more nude ones. This is a really, really nice. It's a really nice color. It's a very kind of like nudey, almost... It does have a little bit of peach in it, but it's not like really peachy. It's more on the nude side. The formulation of these are absolutely amazing. They go on literally like butter. Like I know everyone says that, but they do. They go on like butter. They are so easy to blend out. They have like a squeezy tube applicator and they're so, so easy to blend out. They last a pretty long time as well and they're not drying, even though they do give off a more matte kind of look. Next off, I have a few skin body products. The first one is the Clinique. Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Now, I wanted to purchase this because normally to remove my makeup, I use quite an intense makeup remover because do you see this? And I usually use the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse, which is an oil, but I wanted something a little bit more kind of like not so messy. So this is a balm and it is dirty because I dipped my fingers in there the other day with makeup on. Um, but basically it's a balm, you rub it into your fingers, put it all over your face with makeup and then you wash it off. This does get rid of pretty much everything, waterproof eye makeup, full coverage foundation, etc. And it doesn't leave a residue on your skin. So I love this product a lot. To go with that, I have been loving the Purity Face Wash by Philosophy. I know a lot of people talk about this cleanser. It really is great. Um, it kind of smells actually a little bit like, I don't know, I don't really like like detergent almost. I don't really like the smell of it. But it is a very natural cleanser and I find it works really, really well for me, especially if I'm breaking out. I don't want something too intense. So this one is just nice. It just cleanses my skin, um, but it doesn't really irritate it or, I don't know, strip it of its oils or make it dry. It's just really nice. Yeah, I only got the small bottle because I didn't know if I was going to like it because I've never tried this before. But I really do like it a lot and I feel like I would purchase... I, I don't know if it's kind of similar to Cetaphil's Gentle Skin Cleanser, like to be honest with you just like more expensive but I do like it and I would recommend it and then the last product is a body butter this is the soap and glory sugar crush body buttercream I've wanted to try a soap and glory product for a while and I feel like I wanted to try this because I feel like Zoella talked about it once but um, it smells pretty nice it's quite citrusy but what I really like about this is it's not too heavy um, and I usually, I use this at night, not in the morning, but when I get in the shower the next morning, I can feel it like the excess come off and it just leaves my skin feeling so nice. Like it just kind of makes me feel like I've bathed in oil all night, which is a nice feeling and I'm not going to lie, I do kind of like that. I love the packaging as well. It's very summery, it's very like, wow, 
you know, I'm really happy when I look at this. Three more kind of like beauty products sort of thing that are kind of random. The first one is a fragrance and it is Ariana Grande's um, perfume, Ariana. I got this for Christmas, but I'm only just talking about it, I feel. This ball is essentially why I got it, but I really, really do love this perfume. I don't even know how to describe it. I feel like it's very fruity, but it's also kind of very classy as well and feminine. But um, I just absolutely love the ball, basically. But I love the smell of it as well, and I love Ariana Grande. The packaging is amazing, so everything pretty much is amazing about this fragrance. I definitely recommend that you go and give it a sniff if you like it, and even just for this ball. Oh my god, you can take the ball off. I can put this on my keys when I finish this perfume bottle, I just realised. Life made. Okay, next favourite thing is a pair of lashes. I'm wearing them right now and I don't feel like I've ever tried these eyelashes before but I really, really like them and they are the Demi Wispies. I don't have the actual packaging with me at the moment but they're the Demi Wispies from Ardell. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever tried these lashes before and I don't know why. They're very, very natural. Obviously, they're wispy. They're very natural and they do kind of like elongate out, which I really like because my eyes are kind of like a weird shape and I like when things are like pulled up like this, like I have like Botox. But these ones do exactly that. So these are really nice. I feel like they're actually very quite natural. And then the last product is a really, really random product and it's a Dove deodorant. And it's the Dove Go Fresh Pomegranate and Lemon Deodorant. My friend uses this all the time and I always used to say, what on earth have you just sprayed? It smells really good and it was this. So I went and got it and it actually is a really, really nice deodorant. Like it smells kind of like baby powder with a hint of pomegranate. And then the last product thing that I want to talk about was like, well, it's not a product, it's a fashion piece. And it's a clothing item that I got from Dottie. And I wore this in my I'm Back update video. But it's basically just like an off the shoulder little lacy top. And it probably is coming off a lot more white on camera, but it's actually gone a little bit dirty looking. Um, so I need to put some nappy sand on that sheet. I wear a lot of like ripped jeans and like. Just things like that. And when I wear this, I always feel so girly and so feminine. And um, I feel like I just want to get more into feminine clothes sometimes. Because even though I like casual, like, ripped jeans or whatever, I think it looks really cute. But I really love wearing these sorts of things sometimes. I just feel so feminine and just so goddessy, Grecian goddess, bohemian rhapsody. And it is crop, but I like wearing this with a long maxi skirt, like a maxi skirt up to the top and then wearing it long. It looks really, really nice. But of course, Beach, if you go on a groove in the mood, you could totally pair that with some shorts. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. And let me know what your February favourites were in the comments. February favourites. February favourites. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye.